Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Paul here. So uh, today um, we're gonna be focusing then on the CRM pitfalls, okay? So after working on over 40 Salesforce projects, okay, leading uh, loads of projects across EMEA and at the global level, I came across five main uh, common pitfalls and errors, okay? And the thing is, why is this so important and why should you actually care? So to start from, uh, they are highly costly, okay? So we are talking about, uh, just to give you a kind of, um, uh, let's say, a statistic. So on the last 18 years, uh, between 20 to 70% of the projects fell. Okay, so according to several research companies, Gartner included. Okay, so um, so the second point is, how is it that you can actually benefit from that? Okay, so I will talk exactly about that today. How is it that you can actually benefit from that? I'm gonna be sharing what are the five common uh, CRM pitfalls, specifically speaking Salesforce on this case as an example, and then I'm gonna give you then what is it that you should consider in order actually to benefit from that and profit from that from a company perspective but also from you an individual perspective okay with that said if you want to know more about how is it that you can actually become a successful CRM professional if you want to have a framework of success please drop it on the comments below CRM professional on the comments and then I'll set up a video just around that so I'll share with you how is it that I was able to uh, essentially multiply um, my income by five okay and grow in a professional manner and working across different uh, projects so that you can actually use my formula for success and actually fast track all of your evolution so with that said don't go anywhere stick around you're going to be starting then with the problem and then from that point onwards the solution and then i'm going to give you what is it that you need to consider in order to actually to become successful in terms of the crm projects okay with that said Let's go for the first one. Okay, let's go and frame the problem. So how big is then the elephant in the room? How big is the problem? Okay, so to start from, I'm gonna talk about what is the average cost of uh, Salesforce projects. Okay, so essentially speaking, can be between the 5,000 to 100,000, okay? A project in average, but the thing is that the numbers can actually go much, much higher, okay? So I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the values that I've been working with in terms of projects. So I've been working on projects that actually go between 1 million up to 12 million each. Okay, so you can already understand if those actually fail, we are talking about money wasted, time, resources, uh, business struggling and so forth. Okay, then uh, I'll be sharing with you what are then the five top uh, reasons for failure. Okay, and I would say to you, if you actually pick up this uh, and you use it in your favor, then you'll shine as a CRM professional. Believe me, uh, that happened to me and to others as well. Okay, so it's on you actually to take that into your own benefit. Okay, with that said, just recovering back. So I spoke about 20% to 70% of projects that actually fail. Okay, and this is data from the last 18 years. Okay, so we're talking about Gartner that already mentioned that. We're talking about Forrester. So meaning a lot of research companies went into this and actually um, underlined this major issue. So what are then the five top things that you actually need to take a look at and consider in order to avoid actually going down the drain. Okay, so let's start with number one. Okay, so it's expected almost like by magic that the system itself will bring the content and even the strategic direction for the entire revenue cycle, meaning marketing, sales and service. Okay, the thing that you need to understand that the system can only map the structure uh, of the strategic content it cannot actually create that same content nor direction, okay? So that is point number one, okay? So point number two is that uh, the thing that is actually happening more and more is that people tend to go into the shiny new things, get excited about the new features and possibility. So they go into dreamland without a proper roadmap. And then there is a lack of a proper, um, let's say, expectations management. Okay, so uh, to, sum it up, to sum up, there is this uh, temptation to dive into everything that is shiny and new and forget completely what are the business objectives. Why are we actually there okay then moving forward uh the third is all about no exact sponsorship and no appropriate budget okay so you should not ever ever start 
uh, whatever project if you don't have the executive sponsorship nor the budget and this actually applies further beyond the CRM or Salesforce project, it applies to your life, to the projects that you are going through. If you don't have exact sponsorship, forget it, okay? And if you don't understand, um, meaning if you don't get also the backup of the main stakeholders, okay? Moving forward, number four, I would say that is the lack of a clear CRM goals and objectives in connection to the business objectives, okay? This is like a classic mistake, okay? It's like uh, you, you going into a project and then you start to talk about or raise the question, what are the business objectives and no one actually knows, okay? So why are you gonna be actually building something if you don't know where to go? So this is like the classic error and mistake. So if you raise this question, it may be like almost seen that why people don't ask that, I don't know, but it's like normally the temptation uh, tech goes into a direction and then the business goes into another one and then in between you have the stakeholders and the customer that are then lost in translation. Okay, then let's move for the fifth one. So essentially is the lack of training and proper adoption. Okay, this is another classic, classic, classic mistake and error that I see all over the uh, meaning it's constantly this kind of errors it's over and over again people do not understand that uh, when you build um, solutions when you build uh, meaning a CRM or even whatever other solution it's made for people people are the ones that are going to be using that so if they do not understand what's in for them what is the business uh, value uh, and if they don't have actually proper training if you don't have measurements of adoption that people are actually using it and they are actually uh, taking it into their own benefit you are doomed you will be uh, losing my friend sooner or later the company will just move out to another solution and on and on again Okay, so then I'm gonna give you a sixth one. Okay, so I talk about five, but I'm gonna give you a bonus. Okay, so this is another one. There is a lack uh, that happens once in a while, but whenever you have a lack of a proper implementation and support partner, aka a consultancy, okay, uh, that actually knows their stuff, okay, then you are lost as well. Why? Because meaning you're going to be wasting your time, your resources. You should just stop that and just go and talk to someone that actually knows. Okay. So for instance, if you have a problem, okay. Uh, and you go to the doctor, you don't self-medicate yourself. Why? Because you don't want to die. Okay. So the same applies here. So you go into a consultancy because they know their thing. Okay. They are, they have people that are um, trained, educated, and they know their shit. Okay. With that said, let's go into the solution. Don't go anywhere. Stick around. Okay, then let's talk about solutions to wrap this up. Okay, so first and foremost, we already framed the problem. We understand the problem. We set up then what are the key, uh, let's say, common mistakes in, in terms of CRM, the CRM pitfalls, plus I actually added a sixth one. Okay, so with that said, I also spoke to you and I, I shared with you at the beginning that we'll be talking about then solutions. Okay, so this is what I'm going to be addressing right now. Solutions that allow for you to shine, for your company to be successful as well. And uh, with that said, uh, I'll share just another thing before we jump into that. That is, if you want to know how to become successful as a CRM professional, just drop it on the comments below. CRM professional, I'll share with you what is the framework of success that will allow for you to actually to grow as a professional, maybe I will actually just build up um, a video around that uh, to allow for you guys to check it out and also make use of it and go faster than myself and even get uh, to five times uh, more money than I got. Okay, with that said, uh, talking about then the first problem that we have and what are then the solutions. Okay, so solution number one. So it's all about defining your goals and objectives based on what you need uh, and what are the business objectives? Technology is second. It's not important. This is all about people and this is all about business. Okay. So then the second point, obtain buy-in from main stakeholders, executive sponsorship and get some badasses CRM champions. Okay. So why? Because they can actually help you 
partner up with you while you're doing your work on the implementation and that's the, and then also afterwards in terms of post implementation they can actually work in terms of supporting you and supporting uh, people with questions that they may have around Martin sales or service in connection to the platform okay next okay review and select the CRM solution that is the correct one for you not all CRM uh, solutions are the same Take a look into this video that I've built, okay, that I actually explain what are the top CRM solutions out there against business objectives, okay, concrete ones. Okay, with that said, next one, select a consultant or a consultancy that can actually help you be success, successful, sorry. Do not burn uh, your money, do not burn your time, okay. If you don't know, uh, there are a lot of consultancies out there that can help if you want to go more towards the healthcare, I would highly advise you, Icuvia, my company, uh, but you also have other solutions out there, Cognizance, Deloitte, etc. Take a look into those. And if you want to have a, a chat with regards to um, advices in terms of consultants, just uh, drop me uh, directly a DM or just engage with me. I'm happy to help you on that front as well. Okay, then moving forward, training, 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 training. Change management is a must and adoption as well. Okay, why? Because uh, people tend to have a resistance to change. Okay, so you need to support in order to make sure that your project is then successful. Okay, then moving forward, measure success and sell it inside of your organization. This will bring you um, really very good feedback. This will bring you success and this will allow for your project to gain more and more traction and allow for you to also to become more and more successful. Okay. With, with that said, um, then last but not least, please do not underestimate the pain that can be data and data quality and data migration, okay? This can actually be like crucial in terms of the project. Do not forget that data is the lifeblood of the CRM, okay? If you put garbage in, you're gonna get garbage out, okay? So this can actually drive, I would say, uh, users discontent, business discontent and then at the end the failure and then the in success of your project okay that's it guys hopefully this was an interesting session if you want to know more about uh how to be successful and avoid your crm pitfalls please do check out this video around what's the best crm solution out there hopefully once more this was an interesting session uh, thank you very much please do subscribe join me on this uh, mission of knowledge sharing around uh, living abroad, uh, CRM and MarTech and consultancy. Uh, and then wish you a very, very um, amazing end of day. Okay, take care guys. Cheers. Bye-bye.